Welcome back to the Girl Cave. It is Tool Time Tuesday for the month of September. And the tool for this month, punches. Of all of my punches, I think my favorite are border punches. And of my border punches, these three are my absolute favorite. The notebook, this one, which looks like stitching lines. And then this one, which are arrows. And it's by We Are Memory Keepers. I love it. And that's what I'm going to use. And then I'm also using a fairly new paper kit. And this, I purchased this at Joann's or Hobby Lobby. I cannot remember, but it is from 2018. And it came with a sheet of thin chipboard. But they're very cute. Uh, what else do they have? So it's like, I keep dropping this one. <laughs> One that says, I love Jesus, keeps falling. I need to do a better job securing that. It also came with a 12 by 12 sticker sheet. I've only used some little hearts from that. And then the paper. Let me show you the paper because it's gorgeous. I mean, can we just take a minute? So there's this beautiful floral. I just love the colors. One with the crosses. And there are several that have verses. Just so beautiful. These are great for doing some Bible journaling or documenting something important in your life uh, related to your faith. And that's what I'm going to be doing today. I love that one. And then I just threw in some die cuts. But look, there's another one. I just love the colors. I think I used this for the layout that I did at Christmas time when you could see the Star of Bethlehem. I think I used that sheet of paper. It's beautiful. And then this is the one that I will be using today. And guess what I did? Guess what? I, you're not going to guess. You're not going to guess. But it's something that I do all the time. <laughs> I already put the adhesive on. I almost stuck it down. I was like, wait a minute. Calm down, girl. Let's go step by step. So I, hold on. My camera's all sorry. Um, A student had given me this card on my first year when I switched from middle school to high school. And it was just such a beautiful experience. And he gave me such a sweet, sweet card that really spoke to me. Um, when I moved to high school and I went back to school after being out for a year, I prayed to God to help me show his love. That's all I wanted to do is like, I just want them to feel love and to see your love through me. And I, God helped me because <laughs> high school is not easy. <laughs> um, I mean, middle school is not easy either. So I really want to document this card because it's just beautiful. This young man wrote such a beautiful thank you card to me that I, all I could do was thank God. Just say, thank you, God. I know that you're letting me know that I'm doing a good job. And I want to document that. So I'm going to cover his name because, you know, privacy. And I'm going to... Just trim out the middle to mat my photo. So I'm going to gut this now. And this will be the back of my paper. So let me also show you what I've picked as far as embellishments. I had this manufacturing strip and it is from Kaiser Craft. It doesn't say which year, but it was a notebook ledger paper. And then the back side, look how beautiful. It says, whatever you are, be a good one. A quote by Abraham Lincoln. So I'm going to incorporate that. And then I pull a few things. I don't think I'm going to use that. Because I found other things. I have this from Hobby Lobby. And I love. I mean that. It just spoke to me. Because for a while. I kept trying to figure out. What is it that you want me to do? What is it God that you want me to do? And I had even 
read the book the purpose driven life and i didn't even have to finish the 40 days when it just it was like how how do you not know this like it's so obvious <laughs> sometimes i don't listen well and and i realize this is this is what you created me for like this is what you want me to do and i have some beautiful little crosses that janet madison had given me when she gave me a box full of embellishments so i'm gonna probably use some of those not gonna use these these i, I had just picked out but i think i'm gonna go with that one although i love the colors of this one of that color so we'll see but i think this this is let's go with that and then i have this beautiful little sticker that says follow his plan i think i want that and look at the little typewriter it says spread love so who knows maybe i could use both i don't know if i can or cannot i like this sticker right there that says the lord shall guide you i also have the same bible verse in another sticker i have this one uh, but i think i'm going to so i'm narrowing it down so i started with a big pile of embellishments and now i'm narrowing it down I love this one too. Whatever you do, do it enthusiastically as something done for the Lord. I love that. Let me build my base and you'll get to see which punch I've chosen to use. I got the paper and I cut it wrong, but I fixed it with tape. I'm a hot mess lately. And then I used that piece just to mat my card and I chose this one i was torn between these two i love that this one had more color but you know what this is the verse that speaks to me so i chose another piece of cardstock to layer the entire thing and i think i want it this way yeah i think that's how i'm going to have am i in frame let me zoom out a little bit so that's how I'm going to layer my papers. And then my card's going to go in the middle, obviously. And then from the little crosses that I have from um, the box that Janet had sent me, I love this one, but it's too pale, I think. So, and I don't like the green. So I think I'm going to go with this one because I love the size and the color of it. And it kind of picks up on that pink there. So I will save these and keep them with my Bible journaling supply. I'm going to print out my journaling because it's, it's a lot of journaling. Um, and I will place it here as well. So then my manufacturing strip, I cut it in half and I think I'm going to layer it. I like it like the way this looks and this is gonna go right here and that's gonna go like that and I'm gonna use this sticker right here so let me just do that right now very simple but you know I just want to get the story documented. Hopefully that's straight, right? <laughs> Am I wearing my glasses? No. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me lately. And then, oh my goodness, I can't get the sticker off. I will place the sticker. Right. I need to do two things. Put on my glasses and bring this closer to me. I'm going to layer it so that it's almost right here on top of the card. There. Oh, I could raise. Uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to use some dimensional adhesive to raise the cross just a little bit more. So let me get some pop-up dots. This foam adhesive from the Dollar Tree is super strong. <laughs> I'm, 
I'm having difficulty getting it off my fingers. So let me place this right here. I like that very much. Okay, so now I can adhere this. And just in case my eyes are playing tricks on me, I'm gonna use my ruler today. Look at that. Aren't you impressed? Let's see. Lower right there. Maybe even right there. Okay. There's that. And now I can place this here. But let me do this first. Okay. All right. So that's adhered and I'm going to place it right there. And that way this whole area will be for my journaling. That's going to work out perfectly for me. Let me adhere this down. I love using these manufacturing strips. I save them because they are so beautiful. Even if this just half the strip that you can use, it's beautiful. And let's place this down. And these big die cuts are from Hobby Lobby. They have a quite a large section of Bible journaling supplies. I wish they weren't as thick because when you put them in your Bible, it creates a lot of bulk. The cute little typewriter that says spread love. I'm going to type put it right there. Right there. I'm so grateful to God for leading me and for speaking to me and allowing me to show his love throughout my work. I'm also grateful for you and for all the beautiful girls that are participating with me in this year-long series, Tool Time Tuesday. Make sure that you check the description box below and check out their videos for the month. And I will see you again next week. Bye.